do an ax squat. Um, I'll show you this because there's some things I like to point out that people don't do. The, um, one of the main things is to um, arch your back and get to where your shoulders and your, your hips are pressed against the pad. The reason I do that is because if you go flat back against the pad, when people start squatting down, their butt tends to roll off the pad and they come up on their toes and that can lead to injury and I don't like doing that. Um, think about when you do a squat properly, you arch your back and you, you, you unhinge your hips, I guess you say, and push them back and that helps arch your back and push the weight on your heels so when you go down you keep the weight on your heels. So to simulate that on the hack squat, I like to arch my back, get my, my butt and my shoulders on the pad and then my back's rounded off. That way my hips are already unhinged and pushed back and that pushes the weight on my heels so when I go down, the weight stays on my heels, I don't come up on my toes and my butt doesn't roll off the pad. Now once you get that down, if you still have a hard time pushing with your heels, think about pulling your toes off the pad as you push and that'll also help keep you on your heels. So, shoulders are in, my chest is up, my back's arched, my butt and my shoulders are pressed into the pad. I like this for my toes on this particular machine. My toes slightly over because it lines up properly. I don't like my knee to go too far past my toes or past my toes at all. to go down, try to go down to where the top part of your legs parallel. For me, when it feels like I'm that low, I'm usually not that low, so I have to double check myself and get a little lower. But as you can see, as long as my back's arched and my hips are pushed back into the pad, and I keep them back there, the weight stays on my heels. It doesn't come up on my toes. I think that's good.